Let's face it, swimming next to a shark like this one near Chicks Beach in Virginia Beach this summer will make most of us race to the shore. Should we be concerned about sharks in the bay? From an interaction with humans perspective, absolutely not. Dr. Rob Latour from the Virginia Institute of Marine Science says this was likely a sandbar shark, and witnesses say it was after food, not people. The experts at VIMS help us understand the sharks that may be close to us in the bay, like this one posted on the Work Boat Life Facebook page during Shark Week on the Discovery Channel. The post calls it a bull shark in the lower bay, but Dr. Latour says it's likely a sandbar shark. There's an evidence of a ridge between the, the very large first dorsal fin and the smaller second dorsal fin, and that rules out a bull shark. And a bull shark also has, when you think about its snout, um, much more uh, compressed snout and a wider sort of rounded front nose. VIMS has tracked sharks in the bay for close to 50 years. We have learned um, sandbar sharks will travel as far south in the, in the wintertime, even into the Gulf of Mexico. Far north is New England, um, offshore as well. So we've got kind of a basic level understanding of their distribution and their movements. Dr. Latour and his colleague Jim Gartland count about seven shark species in the bay. Sandbars are the most common. If you were to go out fishing, shark fishing in the bay, you're going to be on sandbars. You know, if you caught something different, it would be like, ooh. You know, because it's it's rare to catch something else. When it comes to a possible brush with us humans, the species does matter. The sandbar will leave you alone. <laughs> yes, a uh, bull shark is probably one of the most aggressive species of sharks. The bay is like a nursery for the baby sandbars. Why is the bay a comfortable area to deliver the babies? Well, it's traditionally been um, full of lots of uh, prey types. For the, for the newborn sandbar sharks. Researchers say shark populations have suffered globally in recent decades. Shark management didn't take over nationally until 1993, in which case um, there were limited fisheries, followed by just now there's lots of um, bans on harvesting sharks. They say we are starting to see a spike in abundance, which is important for the ecosystem to maintain a healthy balance across the food web. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.